The Ukrainian military has observed chaotic and inaccurate shelling by Russia in the Kursk region. This erratic firing likely involves military personnel who are still in training. Oleksiy Dmitrashkivsky, a spokesman for the military commandment's office in the Kursk region, shared the information in an interview with Glavcom. According to him, during the Russian troops' offensive in the Kursk region, shelling of settlements has increased, with civilian areas also being targeted. They are using anti-aircraft guns, artillery and kamikaze drones. Given the way the attacks are conducted, these drones are controlled by military personnel who are in training. It is noticeable that the shelling is chaotic and the drones are falling mainly on private houses where there are no Ukrainian military, the colonel said. He noted that this is not the first time Russian forces have done this. In 2014, cadets from the artillery school shelled the towns of Ranitne and Ilovaisk in Ukraine's Donetsk region. The regional operational headquarters of the Kursk region decided to evacuate the population from the 15-kilometer border zone with Ukraine. The regional crisis center has decided to mandate the evacuation of towns in the Rilsky and Komotovsky districts located within a 15-kilometer zone near the Ukrainian border, Kursk region, Governor Alexei Smirnov said. Those districts encompass dozens of villages and towns with a combined population of less than 40,000 people. According to Radio Svoboda, the Russian language service of Radio Free Europe stroke Radio Liberty, the town of Rilsk with 15,000 residents is not currently subject to the evacuation order. The decision to evacuate residents appears to have been influenced by ongoing clashes in the Rilsky district, as reported by the VCHK-OGPU Telegram channel, which claims to offer government insider information. Smirnov previously informed President Vladimir Putin that eight districts in the Kursk region, with a total population of 152,000, were under evacuation orders since Ukraine launched its surprise incursion on August the 6th. Kiev has claimed to have advanced several kilometers into Russian territory, capturing scores of towns and villages, including the border town of Sudza. Meanwhile, Moscow asserts that its forces have reclaimed at least a dozen villages in the Kursk region during its recent counter-offensive. The Russian occupation army will face a shortage of weapons and material resources for the war against Ukraine. This will deepen Russia's dependence on foreign partners in this matter. Russia is likely to face increasing challenges in producing and procuring the material needed for its operations in Ukraine, and the Kremlin is likely to become increasingly dependent on foreign partners to meet its material needs, analysts at the Institute for the Study of War predict. As experts explain, the invading army relies heavily on restocking Soviet-era weapons and equipment to support its offensives, especially armored vehicles. Russian authorities will likely need to further mobilize the Russian economy and defense industry and invest in capability development if the Russian military is to maintain the current tempo of operations in the medium to long term as Russia exhausts its limited Soviet stockpiles, but it is unclear whether the Russian defense industry will be able to produce enough to withstand the high level of equipment losses that Russian forces will suffer in Ukraine, even with further economic mobilization, the ISW said. Analysts have previously predicted that the aggressor's efforts to expand its military-industrial complex were unlikely to be sustainable in the medium and long term due to the expected labor shortage and the impact of Western sanctions. The main intelligence directorate of Ukraine called North Korea the most influential ally of the Kremlin since the supply of ammunition from the North Korea to Russia has a direct and rapid impact on the dynamics of the war. In particular, the armed forces of Ukraine feel the increase in the tempo of Russian operations just a few days after the arrival of the next shipments of shells. As of June 2024, North Korea has supplied Russia with 4.8 million artillery shells. North Korea's support has previously allowed Russia to maintain a significant artillery advantage over Ukraine, and Russia has used these advantages to support successive offensives aimed at denying Ukrainian forces the opportunity to seize the initiative. The analysts explain, recently the Russian authorities have stepped up their cooperation with the North Korea. In June, Putin visited Pyongyang and signed an agreement with Kim Jong-un on a comprehensive strategic partnership and on September the 13th, Russian Security Council Chairman Sergei Shoigu visited North Korea. 
Russia's deepening military partnership with the North Korea is symbolic of the relations the aggressor wants to build with Iran, China and other desired partners. Russia will likely face a reduction in its stockpiles of weapons and equipment and will try to compensate for this deficit unless it can circumvent Western sanctions on a large scale and significantly expand its interactions with foreign partners to obtain sufficient quantities of military equipment, components and dual-use goods, the analysts concluded.